Leonard Howell is considered the founder of Rastafarianism, but his pro-black, anti-church, and anti-government doctrine did not sit well with the Jamaican government. See, Howell believed that Emperor Haile Selassie I of Ethiopia was the earthly manifestation of God. He saw Selassie as the black messiah and appointed himself as the emperor's representative in Jamaica. He lived briefly in the United States where he was influenced not only by the black power movement, but also by the teachings of Marcus Garvey. On his return to Jamaica, Howell, Robert Hines, and several others established the Rastafarian movement. In 1933, Howell and Hines were arrested on charges of sedition, which was a common tactic to use by the government of the day to silence race and other dangerous talk. What was this dangerous talk? According to one text, Howell had begun to preach a hatred of whites, the superiority of blacks, and the return to Africa. On Howell's release from prison, they again tried to silence him, this time placing him into a psychiatric hospital. That didn't work, and the police, with the full backing of the colonial government of the day, embarked on a full-scale harassment of Howell and other Rastas that they could find. He faced such police harassment that he moved to St. Catherine, where he set up a small community. Pinnacle was the first Rastafarian village in Jamaica, established on 400 acres of land in Sligoville, St. Catherine. There is some debate as to whether Howell actually owned Pinnacle or if it was registered to some Chinese or even Lebanese merchants. The community became self-sufficient, and the Rastafarians who were avid farmers grew their own crops and were able to sustain themselves without government assistance. Soon, people from across the island began moving to Pinnacle, where they were free from the clutches of an oppressive police force and an oppressive colonial government. As news of this self-sustaining community spread across the country, other Rastafarian camps were set up across the island, and the government became really upset about Howell's influence on other Afro-Jamaicans. There are different accounts of what really started the battle at Pinnacle, but it's said that Howell's people trespassed on nearby property and either stole something or beat some men up. But in 1954, a government militia moved in and destroyed the entire village. Howell died in 1981, leaving a lasting legacy on Jamaican history. In October 2022, Howell was awarded the Order of Distinction, Jamaica's fifth highest honor.